So watchOS 3 just arrived a couple of days ago and let's be honest it was pretty much the software it should have shipped with when watch was first released. However it wasn't and it is a new software. So in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over a few of the different features that are new within this watch. Okay the first feature which is probably not the most revolutionary but probably the most important is just the watch faces. Um, A there are new watch faces which I'm not going to go through in this video because it's just too many and trying to keep it as short as possible but there are also new complications you can put on your watch faces so let's say I go to customize you can now swap through a lot more complications than you could before for example if I want to put the breathe app there I could put the breathe app there which is quite nice to have uh, it hasn't changed the way I use my watch faces because all the complications I used before are just the complications I use now but that might be useful to you. The next change is simply the way you change watch faces. So you can still force touch or 3D touch, I'm not entirely sure what Apple call it on the watch, to get to your different watch faces. And you can still switch and customize as you want. However, what you can do now is say you choose this watch face and you want to change to an analog watch face, you can swipe from left to right or right to left and you can change watch face that way which is just a nice quick and easy way to change your faces also something new which really really creeps me out is now if you go to mickey mouse or mini mouse whatever you prefer he now talks so if you tap him it's 1 44 good afternoon it really creeps me out but he can talk it's 1 44 it's 1 44 he makes weird noises sometimes as well. Like he'll make like a laughing noise and be like, it's 144, ha! Huh? And it's like, shut the fuck up, Mickey. Jesus Christ, you creep. Right, so the next feature on Watch OS 3 is probably the most important. It's the speed upgrades they've introduced with OS 3. Now, this really is the part of the software that should have been there from day one, but they've introduced it now, which is I suppose better late than never, but let's go into it. The main thing is the dock. So this is the dock here, once you press this button on the side, it no longer takes you to your friend like wheel that they used to have. It takes you now to your dock, much like you have on a Mac or an iPhone. And you can store up to 10 items in this dock, and they are always stored in memory. So what that means is whenever you want to go to them, say you want to go to Messenger, which I've got a really insensitively named one, I do apologise, uh, some of my mates are dicks, it'll always be there, in memory, which is fantastic. So you never have to wait around for these apps to load like you used to. So if I just go into another app to demonstrate, let's open up uh, Instagram. I never use Instagram, I know it won't be a memory. You'll never get this loading screen. You never have to wait for it to load, it's always loaded. And once you leave that app, it then gives you the option to keep it in dock, or you can just go out and um, go back to your watch face, which is really, really nice. So another thing Apple has introduced with Watch OS 3 is a form of keyboard. Now, I don't know if you've kept up with the Apple Watch before OS 3, but there was never a way to input directly into the Apple Watch. Everything had to be done either through dictation or through a canned responses, through pre-made responses. Now, the issue with this is either A, they were too limited, they couldn't get you a full uh, answer to someone, or B, they were inconvenient. So you couldn't really, let's say, speak into your watch while you were at work. However, what Apple have done now is they have integrated the Scribble keyboard. So let's say you're a messenger and you want to reply to a friend. If you click now the Scribble option, you can, if your handwriting is nice enough, type into the keyboard. Now it's not the most elegant Uh, keyboard in the world as you can see it does make mistakes but if you write properly and not scribble like me it will recognize the real words and it's useful for very quick responses so another new feature Apple have introduced is the breathe app so if we go into my app drawer here I put breathe just there so what this app aims to do is to help you breathe uh, and it encourages, encourages you to breathe for over a minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, and that's it. So what will happen is it'll tell you to be still 
Oh, my watch is just locked. It'll tell you to be still and bring your attention to your breathing. And what we'll do then... Oh, let me put my... Uh, let me put it on and I'll show you. So what it'll do... Sorry about this, I know my hands are a bit chunky. Is... Let's put it on for a minute. It will then encourage you to breathe. And as you can see, there's a flower in the centre that is getting bigger and smaller. Bigger and smaller. Now this is accompanied by a taptic feedback, so every time the bulb gets bigger, it vibrates, and then it doesn't vibrate when it gets smaller, so you know when to breathe and you know when to exhale. So you don't have to look at this while you're doing it. You can close your eyes or lay down or whatever you want, but it's a really, really nice app to just relax with. I've used it once or twice, don't know if I'd use it all the time, but you know, it's, it's, it's a nice app to have. Another feature Watch OS 3 brings is the SOS feature. So if you hold down the main button at the side, you've got two options. You've got power off and now you've got emergency SOS. So what happens there is if you slide that across, which I'm not going to do because I am not in an emergency, it will do two things. It will A, ring your emergency contacts, uh, well, at least send your emergency contacts a message telling you that you've activated your SOS feature and it will send them your current location and B it will ring emergency services so it will contact the police, ambulance, whatever. So it's a nice little feature to have just as a quick guide, as a quick shortcut to phone in the emergency services if you need them. Hopefully you know Apple don't want you to use it but if you do need it it is there. The last major feature Apple have introduced with watchOS 3 um, really is designed I think uh, or I believe at least to majorly work with the new uh, Apple Watch Series 2, not the original Apple Watch or the Series 1. And that is with the Activity Manager. Now, I have never personally used this. I haven't even set it up with uh, my iPhone, as you can see. But they have introduced a lot of new features that a lot of people would like. For example, they've introduced uh, wheelchair features. So if you're in a wheelchair, you'll be able to use it rather than it being exclusively for those who have, you know, have use of their legs. Uh, it also has a lot more uh, connectivity with friends and friends Apple Watches, so you can compete with everybody to get a little bit more motivated. And let me just see here on Apple's website. Activity sharing is now directly connected to the Messages app, so users can communicate, motivate and celebrate with friends and families with new smart replies specifically customised for activity and workouts. Yeah, I don't use the activity if, um, monitor or anything. If you want to see that, go, some, go find a YouTuber who isn't fat and they can tell you more about that. So yes, those are the new major features in watchOS 3. I know there are a lot more smaller features scattered throughout the OS, but those are the main main hitting points so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed and to sign us out here is mickey it's two or three such a creepy watch face